Hey guys, Brian Stone Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy and Get Your Fix Nutrition. Just got done with some muscle up work here at the gym and thought I'd get on here and talk to you guys before I do my workout for the day and then before I coach and before I get on with my Saturday. What I wanted to talk to you about today is processed foods, what to avoid, what to, things that are actually okay, things that are healthy for you in the um, processed food realm because I understand you can't always take uh, fresh meat, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables with you wherever you go, especially if you're traveling or if you have kids with you and that you need to take more snacks or if you're just like me and need a lot of food. So I uh, want to hop on here and just kind of talk to you guys briefly about some of the um, things to stay away from, things that are okay when you are looking for these different foods. The most important thing to think about is avoiding the um, essentially the things you can't pronounce. Mo, if you are looking at processed foods, you should be sticking with things that are actual food items in the ingredient list that you can actually pronounce. If you're seeing a lot of like chemical additives, color additives, don't mind the truck in the background, um, then those are some things, those are the foods you should be avoiding. If you can look at the list and actually be able to go to the shelf in the grocery store and purchase all the actual items of the ingredient list, then those are typically okay for you to be um, consuming. With that said, you do need to uh, kind of watch for the sugar content. A lot of processed foods, um, even like things that are termed as healthy as far as different snack bars and that sort of thing, can have a lot of added sugar. A lot of jerkies have a lot of added sugar. Um, like if you get canned fruit, those can also have some added sugar at times. So you really want to be cautious as far as avoiding things with a lot of um, added sugar. The other one you need to be cautious of is artificial sugars. So sucralose and aspartame are the biggest culprits of causing people um, lost systemic problems. There is research to back it. There's also research to back um, the opposite of that. But um, I like to stick towards the less chemicals, the better method. Uh, the artificial sweetener that I am okay with is stevia just because that is um, from the actual sugar plant so it is a little bit more natural. It does process better in your system. Um, honey and coconut nectar are also good um, sweeteners that are in foods but once again it's still sugar content and it can add up so you definitely want to be looking at how much sugar you're getting into your system. Uh, and then we're looking at different uh, like snack bars. Um, protein bars, that sort of thing. Sticking towards the, the items that have like four, five, six ingredients is usually better than the entire list of like 20 to 30 things. Those 20, that list of 20 to 30 typically is going to have a lot of chemicals and additives in it that doesn't need to be. Uh, let's see, looking at um, like coconut waters, uh, sparkling water, sodas, things like that. The difficult thing with that is some of the sparkling waters, some of the like coconut waters actually have added sugar in them, which they don't need to. So making sure you're looking at labels and avoiding those things with the added sugars is also ideal. Um, where it can get tricky is looking at the like frozen foods as far as if you are looking for like a prepared meal, a lot of them do have a lot of added things unless you're at your more of your Kind of your na more natural stores you can find brands or in the natural section of the grocery stores you can find some better brands that are better for you you still need to be pay attention to the labels though because they are still going to have a lot of um, or they still can have chemicals in them because it is still a processed preserved food so something for you guys to think about if you want more information on this if you want some more specifics on some specific brands that i really like in a lot of these different categories in the comment section below, I put a link to where you can access my free healthy food brands guide. So check that out if you're interested. And uh, has just some really good information in there. Some of the things you may not be able to find in your stores. It's the stuff that I can find in my stores. But if you can't find in the stores, um, usually you can always find it online. Or uh, feel free to reach out to me directly and uh, I can kind of point you in the direction of where to go for it. So let me know if you have any questions on this. Let me know what um, thoughts you have that come to mind as you watch this later. And uh, I would love to have a conversation with you and get back to you on any questions or comments you have. So hope you have an amazing Saturday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.